Steve from Steve's Makerspace. Uh, we're in P5JS, and I'm going to do the 10 minutes, made in 10 minutes prompt for January. Uh, January is a mashup of generative art and January, and there's a prompt for each day to make generative art. I'm not going to be doing uh, these prompts every day in January because it's a very busy uh, month for me professionally, but I thought this one, it made in 10 minutes, I could do. Uh, so, I've got a blank uh, canvas here, and I do have an idea. My idea is to take the letters for January and make them into a Pearl and Noise flow field. So, let's get started. Ooh, I'm uh, kind of nervous. Oh, and I have a timer. I should get the timer going. So, go. All right, uh, we're going to need some different resolutions. Um, and I'm going to have different um, one for the uh, rotation of the letters, one for the color of the letters, one for the type of letter. So res one will do uh, 0 0.025. Uh, res two uh also 0. Uh, 0.0 let's do 0. 0.03 right that makes more sense and then res 3 uh equals 0. 0.003 uh then we're going to need um some letters uh let's do let's let let's <laughs> equals um g Oh, oops, no, 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 no. Uh, G, oh dear, insert, okay. Uh, gen, oh, this is taking so much time. U, A, R, Y. January. Okay. Oh boy. Um, then, uh, let's for now, uh, get rid of the draw function. I'm not sure if I'm going to animate this or not. I am going to want HSB mode. So let's do color mode, HSB, uh, 360, 120, 100, and 255. Uh, I'm gonna, let me worry about the color a little later. Um, let's do background, um, kind of a gray background. So zero, uh, the hue saturation, um, we want a fairly high saturation and a brightness of pretty low brightness. Let's do... I don't know. Let's just try that. Um, let me see what that does. Oh, that's red. Um, that's right. Wait a minute. It's uh, H S. Um, okay, low saturation, and then a low brightness. There we go. Gray. That's what I want. Okay. Um, then oh, my canvas is not big enough. Let's do. Um, 550 maybe yes and 550 there we go we fill in the space oh my goodness we're already at seven minutes um okay then we're gonna want uh two for loops for um x equals uh oh let's stop it zero um and x less than width x uh plus equals now I'm going to want a size and a gap. Uh, so the size is going to be, uh, let's say 30 for these letters. And let's say the gap between the letters is 10. Uh, then this is going to be open quotes. Then for y equals zero, y less than height, y plus equals size plus gap um, do that again then we've got our noises so noise one is going to be um, 
Oh, noise x um, times res uh, one uh, comma y times res one, and then noise two. Uh, actually, I just copy that, and then do another one. And we've got noise two and noise three. And this is going to be res two, res two, res three, res three. And we're going to add 10,000, 10,000, and add 20,000, and 20,000. So we get different noise fields. Um, Okay, now we need um, to pick a, a type. So the first type uh, letter is going to be, um, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, so we're picking the letter. It's, there's seven letters. Uh, and we want to base it on the noise uh, for N1. So, uh, okay. The letter is going to be, it's a text. Text um, N1 times 7. Um, let's just try that. And... We're going to have that, uh, let's just say it's at x comma y, and just see what that does, if it does anything. Uh, we've got, whoop, I got an error message. Um, unexpected token width. Ah, width. Uh, try that again. Okay, we got some numbers. No, that's not what I want. Um, text, why is it doing that? Why is it doing numbers instead of N1? Oh, the dummy. Uh, because I'm supposed to have let's. I'm just under pressure here, guys. Okay. And then this. Um, N1. Oh, I need a, uh, to, to floor that. Uh, let's floor this. and try that okay we've got some letters awesome um these oh i haven't made them the right size so we need text size <clears throat> uh text size and that's going to be size and then try that excellent so we've got the letters uh, we're at, oh my goodness, I've got two minutes and 27 seconds. Okay, um, well, we've got some of the letters. So let's rotate those letters. So we're going to do, <coughs> we're going to do a uh, push um, translate to x comma y uh, and then rotate. And let's rotate by noise two. Um, noise two, let me think. Let's do noise two minus 0 0.5 um, times pi, because it's going to give me a number between. Um, yeah, it, it, it should work. I, I don't have time to explain it. Um, rotate. So then we do the text. Then we do, um, we've trained. Okay. I've got to pop it. Oh, pop. Okay. Uh, try that. Yes. Uh, oh, I know. I, I have to put this now to zero, zero since I've translated. There we go. Okay. Uh, now, one minute left. Let's do some color. Um, so 
the color, we're going to do a fill uh, for the uh, noise three, um, and then multiply that by uh, 360. If I just multiply that by 360, so that's my hue. And then I've got saturation. Uh, let's just make the saturation 100 for now and the brightness at uh, uh, 90 and see what that does. There we go. 15 seconds left. Uh, I think we're done. That's all I had time to do. That went by so fast. Uh, well, I've got something. Um, thanks. <laughs> wow. Okay, I wish I had more time to do more stuff with it. Um, but that's all I had time for. So, hope you enjoyed. Um, maybe I could explain a little bit. The reason that the rotation works by subtracting negative 5 is because the noise value is going to give me a number between 0 and 1. And if I subtract half uh, 0 0.5, then I'm going to get a noise value that is between negative 0.5 and positive 0.5. And then I multiply that by pi. So that gives me a little rotation this way and that way. So anyway, I guess that'll do it. Um, I could change the gap. Um, I didn't expect the gap to be so large. Let me try. What happens if I just get rid of the gap? Okay. I think I like that better. Um, yeah, I w really wish I could work on this some more because uh, I know I could make this more interesting to look at. Anyway, uh, that'll do it for today. Um, I'll post this to Twitter. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.